Welcome into the halftime show here on the PAC Sports Network. We're at the half between Grove City and Chatham University, and we're now joined by Chatham University guard Ashley Loud. And Ashley, wonderful to have you join us today on halftime. How's this season been so far for you and your team? Um, it's been great. It's been great. Um, we start off kind of slow, and our excuse can be that is that we're young, but I feel we've come together a lot since the new year. We still have a lot of room to grow. But we also have a lot of talent, and I think we have a good chance in the championship this year and an even greater chance these next few years. Well, I'm glad that you mentioned the uh, the youth that there is on the team. We'll get into mm-hmm. that in a little bit. But I want to first just start with what led you to Chatham? I know that you're a transfer and that you were at Bluefield State last year. So what led you to transferring and landing at Chatham? Um, I was looking to transfer for academic reasons. I was looking for a good physical therapy program. I was actually planning to come to Pittsburgh anyways. I wasn't sure if I wanted to play basketball. And Coach Dave had reached out to me, and Chatham just had a little bit of everything that I wanted. So I decided to come here after he had reached out to me. So what was your plan prior to that? But prior to hearing from Coach Dave, I mean, what was it? You know, what what school were you leaning towards? I mean, it was up in the air. I thought about Tuscum University and Tennessee. I was going to stay in the Division II level, but When Coach Dave reached out to me, I decided to come to Chatham because I wanted to be closer to home and Tennessee would be about seven hours from my hometown. So being close to my family was huge for me. Yeah. That, well, hey, listen, that's I think that's a great decision. And especially with you wanting to have your family close to you. What was it like going through? Now, I have to ask, did you go through the transfer portal when you made your decision? Yes. Mm-hmm. So what was that experience like for you? I mean, I mean, for everybody at home that might not know how that works and on the inside, really, what did that look like, essentially? I mean, to be honest, it was kind of a a stressful process. There was coaches like in my emails every day. I had to contact them and talk to every single coach. So it was it was kind of a stressful process. It was easy to get into the transfer portal, but deciding what I wanted to do was kind of difficult for me. Yeah, I've talked with many that have mentioned it's kind of mm-hmm. almost like a draft, if you will, and yeah. your name's just email blasted out to 250 mm-hmm. coaches or whatever. <laughs> um, I've actually had got, uh, players that have mentioned that they've had 150 calls in a day uh, just you know, yeah. from various schools, so I'm sure that was very chaotic for you. But since being one of the new players at Chatham, I want to hear just what are some of the adjustments that you've had to face with being a new player on a new team and just dealing with you know new teammates, new coaches, new school, and everything else? Mm-hmm. Yeah, for me, it was um, kind of nerve wracking at first coming in and just being like the new girl. I mean, I'm a red shirt sophomore technically because of uh, COVID year. It was a little, um, I don't know, nerve wracking, I guess, at first being the new girl. But there's a lot of young girls. So we were all kind of new and just learning um, the basketball program, Chatham in general, Pittsburgh. So, I mean, it was exciting, honestly. I mean, I met a lot of great people, so I couldn't be happier with my decision. Well, you you mentioned the youth, and 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 we we mentioned earlier, and and for people at home that don't know, no juniors or seniors on this team, so a very very unique case, mm-hmm. in not only the PAC, but I would probably go out on a limb and say really throughout the entire country. How have you kind of taken it upon yourself as as one of the few players that had a year or and has a year of college basketball under their belt to kind of be one of those leaders, despite you only being you know one or two years in your college career? I mean, I'm considered a leader on this team, so I feel it's my responsibility to lead by example, to get the girls in the gym and just to keep them dedicated to the sport and just lead by example, like I said. With with, with you being, again, kind of one of those those players to, to kind of, you know, for others to lean on and whatnot, what kind of advice do you give to other players on the team that are new to college basketball and that have not really experienced that yet? I mean, to be honest, it's a commitment. It's it's kind of like a job. So if you're not going to be committed to the sport, I don't recommend playing. I mean, you play six to seven days a week. And if you don't truly love the sport, I I wouldn't. I wouldn't recommend playing. But um, I don't know. I, I just um, I try to tell people to see it as an opportunity because not everybody has the opportunity to play college basketball. Well, it's definitely a great approach to have because, like you said, not many get to play at the next level for sure. But, Ashley, it's been great to get you on for our halftime show today. Before we let you go, just want to hear what do you feel needs to continue to be a theme and a major factor for this team to make a big push towards the playoffs? Um, I just think showing up every day at practice, ready to get better. Like I said, we're young, so there's a lot of room for growth. But um, staying focused and critiquing the little things over these next few weeks is what's going to put us in a good place for come championship time. Well, we again, thank you so much for joining us today, Ashley. And again, good luck the rest of the season. Thank you. That's Chatham University's Ashley Loudon. Folks, don't go anywhere as we'll have more second half action between Grove City and Chatham University coming up only on the PAC Sports Network.